in English, we learned about the legend of John Henry and Paul Bunyan. If they ran for Senate in the legislative branch and were making posters to help them win, it'd be senators. Our assignment was to go on this app called Canva and um, make like posters of negative traits about Paul Bunyan and positive traits and same thing with John Henry, negative traits and positive traits about him. Um, I've been meeting with the instructional coaches for, this is going on year two, um, and they are so, so helpful. It's nice to have just like a second set of eyes, a second opinion, a second idea um, to kind of push you to um, do something different. So I've never done this um, combination before, combining um, government with you know characterization, and it's gone so well, and I'm excited to do it again, which I think is, um, what's so special about it is having an idea that I can come back to and use again. So I work with Kira as the instructional coach and she has been working this year on aligning her instruction closer to the standards and also kind of marrying her ELA instruction and her social studies instruction. So with her ELA, she was getting into character traits and at the same time in social studies, she was getting into campaigning and a representative government. And so we had this idea of bringing the character traits together and having them make campaign posters for folktale or fairy tale characters. And so she kind of used a thematic unit to really dig into the different character traits of these different characters. And then how do we talk about like when we think of someone to represent us, what character traits do we want them to have and like exude from the government? So then the other piece of this is like, so as Kira and I have been planning together, she's really wanting to just like tighten up her instruction. So we get together weekly and talk through her plans. And then this is one of the first units where we've really been able to like build up from the ground. And so we started with this culminating project of like, okay, here's how we can bring it all together. But then we had to work our way backwards and like look at her standards, which is compare and contrast character traits, understand a representative government, even things like stating an opinion and being able to support your opinion with facts and reasons. And so we're like, how do we bring this together? And, and so we felt like this campaign activity would be a really good authentic way for them to like think about character traits outside of just a story and think about like, okay, when I go to vote or when I even that, like in a real moment, like when I'm choosing my friends or like when I'm talking to people, it's like, what character traits would I want them to have? And what would that look like? And what evidence do they have in their lives of those character traits? And the kids, you know, they get really into like taking a side. Anytime you can get them competitive with one another, it's great. And so they were really excited to be able to like campaign for someone. And then another piece of it is Kira and I went back and forth on whether or not to let the kids choose who they are going to campaign for. And we ultimately landed on assigning them the campaign because we thought that was a good critical thinking skill to bring in of like, okay, you should be able to look at each candidate and think of three positive, three negative, and how those come together. So that was an interesting thing. And then we're hoping that like in the future with when like it is a presidential campaign, we can kind of do that same thing. Like look at both sides of an issue and critically think about like how does that apply to your life and how does that all come together? As an instructional coach, we work on the instructional coaching team and it's an amazing team. I'm so grateful to have them. And so as Kira and I were working on this project, it became clear that we were going to use technology. And so um, at that point, I was like, I know just who to call. And so we contacted Don Sturm and he was so great. He comes in and just, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, shows them how to use Canva. And then the great thing is as they were compiling their posters together, because they didn't each present a poster, the group chose one to represent them. They did a great job of saying like, okay, well, that person's evidence was better. We can go back into Canva and edit it and then present this poster. So they were really able to like bring all of the ideas together. And that's where like as an instructional coaching team, it's really nice to be able to work together and use each person's strengths. And that it's like, you know, I can't be everywhere at once. Dawn can't be everywhere at once. And so we're able to kind of like pass the baton for different areas and bring everyone's ideas together. And then that's how we bring good instruction into Morton. So I got asked to come in and teach fifth graders how to use Canva. And I always love when a teacher says, hey, I don't really know how to use it or I know how to use it a little bit, but would you come in? And my whole philosophy is I give them a little background and then let them kind of just play around and they like to press buttons. And that's what this project was. 
So Cam is really good to use because it's like works really well, like a lot better than other editing things I've used before. It was my first time using Canva, so I liked learning about how to do use it. I'm doing the positive John Henry, and my poster got picked for the one we're presenting to the class. And so I thought about what like John Henry would have for his poster. Like I thought about a railroad putting on there, but then I thought it was too much because it took up too much room. So then I figured out that I could make these circles wider to put like his character traits in there. It was really fun. And I'm excited to show it to the class and speak for the class. Um, so we all made our own posters, but then we got together and we had to decide on one poster to present. So we kind of voted on our posters and then we had to, we were stuck between two, mine and another girl's. And we liked her look better, but we liked the description on mine better. So we just kind of added the description to hers, but kept her look. Yeah, so when we got into our groups today, we all kind of worked together and we figured out who did which part and which poster we were doing, going to choose. And I think all groups did pretty well. We didn't have really any arguments or anything to settle. We all had some disagreements, but we figured it out at the end. And yeah, it was really fun. Every vote can count because you never know like what could happen and if you don't vote maybe something that you wanted to happen won't happen and so if you vote it's just important that you thought that you thought of doing that yeah well so basically actually only 66% of people even vote so yeah yeah it should be more yeah it should yeah we learned about how it's important to vote and um I never realized how hard it would be to like be a campaign manager.